In this theory, creation is based on one universal interactive process of energy exchange. We have an interactive process between the light of the electromagnetic spectrum and the atoms of the periodic table. Because all creatures are made of atoms, we are an integral interactive part of this process. For example, our eyes are continuously interacting with light waves forming new photon vibrations. These photon vibrations represent the movement of positive and negative charge, and whenever we touch or hold anything, it is charge that comes in contact. Therefore, everything we do in our everyday life is based on this process of energy exchange. Einstein said everything is vibrations, but if everything is just a form of energy vibration, then these vibrations must be forming what we see and feel as the passage of time. In such a process we would have new vibrations continuously coming into existence and others decaying away and becoming part of the past. This process would have to be relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the uncertainty of everyday life at the smallest scale being formed by photons interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atoms. Therefore we would measure this process as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This is an interactive process of energy exchange unfolding continuously all around us, forming what we see and feel as the continuum or passage of time. Photon energy is continuously cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization and also forming greater degrees of freedom for the creativity and diversity of life. In such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. At the smallest scale of this process, this is represented by the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics. This gives us a logical reason why there is no flow or passage of time in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of charge within the atoms, and this is logical. If what we see and feel as a passage of time is formed by photon energy interacting with the electrons that surround the atoms. Each photon vibration only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. We have a unique and uncertain future unfolding photon by photon that at the smallest scale of the process is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In such a theory, it would be energy, not mass, that would form gravity, with gravity being a secondary force to electromagnetism. This can be seen mathematically, with both gravity and electromagnetism sharing the inverse square law This can be explained if we say that energy equals mass linked to the Lorentz contraction of space and time. The Lorentz contraction represents the time dilation of Einstein's theory of relativity, with energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of energy exchange or continuous creation. When we look at the great diversity of life and complexity of the universe, it is hard to see how everything could be based on one universal process. But this is possible 
because the photon oscillation or vibration forms a movement of positive and negative charge with the flow of electromagnetic fields. Cell life is based on this process with the build-up and organization of charge across the membrane of each living cell. At the smallest scale, the whole of biology is based on this interactive process. Also, because we have an exchange of photon energy, when the bonds that hold the atoms together form and break, the whole of chemistry can be based on this process of energy exchange. Water is a simple example of this, with hydrogen bonds continuously breaking and reforming with the exchange of photon energy as the future unfolds relative to flowing water. Crystal formation is also based on this process, and this can be seen with just a change in environmental temperature, forming infinite snowflake diversity. We can manipulate the photon-electron interaction, forming a flow of electrons, creating photons relative to the structure of the process. Our potential to create electrical lighting and modern electronics is based on the dynamics of this process. In many ways, modern electronics is mimicking the interconnected nature of this process with modern computers and the World Wide Web. In such a theory, the parallel universes of string theory are just potential future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous creation. But the most radical part of this theory, that is really thinking outside the box, is the idea that conscious awareness, in its most simple form, as electrical activity in the brain, that is aware of its own electrical potential, is the most advanced part of this universal process. We have electrical activity relative to the structure of the brain, forming chemical changes or chemical reactions. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds that hold the atoms together. As the bonds form and break, we have the continuous exchange of photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the electrical activity and the structure of the brain. Therefore, conscious awareness is formed by this electrical potential that is always in the moment of now, in the center of its own reference frame. We have an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that make up our universe, that are continuously coming in and out of existence with each reference frame having a timeline from the past into the future. It is this personalization of the brain being in the moment of now in the center of its own frame of reference that gives us the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe. This process is based totally on cause and effect Consciousness is always at the forefront of creation, or the creative process. Therefore, each individual is able to look back in time, in all directions, from their frame of reference at the beauty of the stars. It is a common belief that we live and die over a period of time. But in this theory, the atoms of the periodic table form their own space and time as part of a universal process of continuous creation. Life is an integral part of creation, with the flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange, and our consciousness as a continuous stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, hopes and emotions, are part of the same universal process. The main effect 
This process of continuous creation or energy exchange has on us is the aging process, with a past we can never change, and a future that only exists as a probability function or quantum wave particle function. But above all, this is a creative interactive process, with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. This can be in the form of art, poetry, music, or even mathematics. We are all connected by one universal process, and this process is not based on some mystical or abstract idea. It is based on electromagnetism interacting with the atoms of the periodic table. I think this theory is totally logical, and the day will come when it is not thinking outside of the box to say that space and time are properties of quanta and not the other way around. What makes this process difficult to comprehend is at higher temperatures we have a phase change of matter with the process unfolding at much larger scales in the form of plasma with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms a potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Spherical geometry will naturally form three-dimensional space and we have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere. In this theory these line symmetries represent an infinite number of potential timelines for future possibilities and opportunities. Intelligent life will form its own evolutionary path out of these potential line symmetries. Because this is a geometrical process with life an integral part of the process, this line symmetry will be visible in the physical shape of intelligent life in the form of left and right handedness. This process forms a potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Within such a process the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. In such a theory the future is not based on total randomness. It is based on broken spherical symmetry and this takes the form of the most beautiful geometrical shape with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. In this theory we see the Fibonacci spiral in plant life not because of economy of growth but because we have a universal process of symmetry forming and breaking. This is why the Fibonacci spiral can be seen in so many different ways that are totally unconnected. This is a very beautiful example with a girl with wet hair flicking her head and as the water comes off her hair it forms a Fibonacci curve. The connection with all these Fibonacci spirals and curves is that they were all formed over a period of time. It is the continuum of space-time as a geometrical process of symmetry forming and breaking that forms a Fibonacci spiral. This can also explain why these spirals are never perfect. It is because they are formed out of broken spherical symmetry relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.